Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game. I dig. I thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Gamer's Thoughts discussion. And, um, I, I'm looking at possibly getting into video game development. It's been on my mind for a long time. Been something I've definitely wanted to do. Um, in fact, part of why I started my YouTube channel even was to see if I had the the chops to even make content on a consistent basis and get people interested. And that has sort of branched out into other things. Now I have an anchor channel, which I'm still coming up with ideas for that. Um, but most of the discussions are on Anchor and YouTube and whatever other podcast platforms come from Anchor. But I'm also managing those, trying to get stuff made and put out. I'm also, like I said, looking at getting into game development. Um, I recently purchased a version of RPG Maker. Not the latest ones because, honestly, I want to get my self acquainted with the basics of how it works and I know there are differences between the different versions of RPG Maker but what I'm looking at is taking the chance to work on some games and make some games and hey if I need to at a later point move my stuff over to a better version of RPG Maker then I'll do that Heck, I might even just decide, hey, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to work on a version of it that allows me to export it to multiple different platforms. But for now, I just kind of want to get my feet wet. I've dabbled with different engines and stuff before, and I at least have a version of RPG Maker that will allow me to kind of customize the generic characters to my liking either way um, I just kind of want to work within the engine and see what I can come up with and yeah I know game development takes a lot of planning and I'm the type of person that can do that I I don't just sit down on, on my laurels all the time and just let things go but I figure If I do this, this is a step towards me, one, becoming more self-sufficient, two, being able to work for myself and not for someone else, three, it gives me experience. If I could start working on stuff on my own, it will build up my experience, it will build up a resume for me that I can use for other stuff. Say, I I always will enjoy making content on YouTube and on Anchor and stuff like that. I definitely enjoy making my podcast. That's not going to to stop. And I love doing general discussions about gaming. None of that's changing. Um, But who's to say me working on, on different games and stuff isn't going to be beneficial? Plus, doing this can give me, I guess, give me more of a glance into the mind of a game developer. Though I guess you can kind of say my mind has already worked that way in the long run anyhow, based on some of the things that I have said in the past that I said should happen that did happen. (laughs) So, again, I'm just basically trying to broaden my scope. And I don't see that as being a problem. Actually, I think the more I broaden my scope, the more it opens up opportunities for me elsewhere. Who's to say that <laughs> that I don't put something together that actually impresses someone else? And they're like, well, we could use somebody with your creativity. Even if it's just using basic minimalistic stuff to get the job done. Now, if I were an artist of any kind, 
I probably already would have made my own game because I would have just used my art skills to do all the artwork <laughs> and put the game together myself. But I don't have that. I've got mental framework in other directions, unfortunately. Well, fortunately and unfortunately. Um, but I'm hoping that in the long run that I make something of this that can be sustainable. And who's, who knows, maybe uh, I'll find a way to come up with the name of a studio of some kind. And I'll just and I'll move away from just being the game idea guy. Seeing as uh, like everywhere I look on the internet outside of me, that is a horribly negatively received term. Well, you're an idea guy. Yeah. Nah, we don't need to talk to you. <laughs> uh, I feel like uh. My mere existence is an insult to a lot of people in the gaming industry. But I've already done a discussion kind of talking about that anyway. Um, anyhow, I'm taking the steps to move in the direction of that. Where I can make my own stuff, put it out there for people, see if they like it or not, and see what comes of it. Hoping that this turns out good. But I don't want to drag this out too much longer. Uh, thank you guys very much for listening in. Keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out, everybody.